Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, overnight, the Australian dollar had a whipsaw price action after rebounding off 68.45.55, went straight for the juggler and took the challenge at 70.35 and rejected. From the rejection, has put a slight bearish spin on the market, as you can see from the midway point, slightly rejected from the RSI. Keep an eye on the support at 69.50. As that holds, I do anticipate a further upside challenge and not backing away as of yet. This is a very strong candle. And if 69.50 can withstand any challenge to the bear case, then we should eventually see a move through 70.35 and look up towards 71 cents. Euro, after an inverted hammer, posts a bullish key reversal. And from that, the market awaits confirmation. Now, if we do see a break that is to the top side of 104.75, that would ignite a further rally up towards 106 figure 15. We do need confirmation to these candlesticks, and until we get that break to the top side of 104.75, still should not rule out another down challenge around 103.2040. The dollar yen still holds above that key level, which is seen at 133.4060. Now, we did see a challenge there overnight after the US Federal Reserve raised its benchmark borrowing rate by 75 percentage points or basis points. Its biggest hike in the US since 1994, as the inflation still seems to be a concern for the Federal Reserve. Nevertheless, the market is still holding above this support level. Until we get a break, then I feel the market will probably trade sideways in the next 24 hours. Sterling, well, the market also rebounds off that 119, 35, 45 level. And from the bounce, this should put a slight firm up step. Nevertheless, the market is now waiting for the Bank of England, which is expected to see a 25 or a 50 base point rate hike, and therefore could see further momentum to the bull case. All eyes on the Bank of England. Sterling Kiwi still may remain somewhat negative as it breaks further to the downside, and I'm looking for a move back to 191. Looking at gold, well, a very strong rebound overnight, but couldn't break the level of 1,841. From the rejection, still keeps it relatively bearish, and if so, could see a move back to that bottom side around 1,789 to 92. And with oil breaking through the 115 level, now exposes further downside risk, and looking to a potential target of 107.30.50, with the immediate target seen at 111.50 to 109.70.90, and reassess. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, I'll have the interest report, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.